Welcome to Mars or Bust. I'm Spaceman Dave, and this is episode 16. Jobs in space. What job will you do? Please hit like and subscribe. It lets myself and YouTube know you're enjoying these videos. Working in space. What kind of jobs will we do? With well, a space-based economy, we'll need a lot of the same things that we do on Earth. The difference is we will need more of them. Much more of them. It's somewhat like a newborn baby needing help from its parents. In the same manner, we will need help from many others just to survive. This will mean we'll need help from Earth too. That will benefit Earth economy. No one that's living out in outer space will be able to be self-sufficient. Everyone will rely on others to survive through a single day. This is what self-sufficient in space will look like. But with this comes new industry. New industry will bring big money. It'll bring entrepreneurs that have the money and willing to spend that money and do whatever it takes to make it happen. We have a few that are doing that now, but just imagine if it was a guaranteed thing. For every dollar you put into it, you get back 10 or even 100 times your investment or maybe even more. I think there would be many more new entrepreneurs willing to give it a shot. So what kind of new industry will be needed for space? How about like fuel manufacturers, oxygen manufacturers, mining companies, habitat construction companies, safety and security companies, and yet again, the list goes on and on. And I know I've just touched the surface. Why don't you give me some ideas on industry that might be in space down in the comments? But all these new entrepreneurs with new businesses would need employees. If you're not the business owner type, what type of job would you want to have out in space? Personally, I think I'd like to own a place like Quark's and maybe have a few Dabo tables. If there's anybody out there that doesn't know what I'm talking about, you need to go binge watch Star Trek Deep Space Nine. So what jobs will we be able to do? They'll be normal jobs, just like here on Earth. Doctors, construction workers, factory workers, heavy equipment operators, home contractors, communication specialists, space station repair technicians, spacecraft pilot and crew, airlock repairman, not to be confused with the Maytag man. Then again, who am I to say, maybe Maytag will get involved with airlock repair. Environmental maintenance, geologists, asteroid miners. I can go on and on and on. I probably could talk a week and still not get them all. The point I'm trying to make here is there'll be so many jobs out there that nobody will have a problem finding one. That is if they want one. And I haven't even mentioned the earth jobs. The only problem I see here is who will train all these people. Maybe the industry itself will step up and start providing training. Colleges today do have positions they're training for, but most of them are highly technical. What we need here is vocational training or job-based training. Many of the junior high schools and high schools have gotten out of the vocational training. I think what may happen here is this will creep up on them real fast. They'll have the jobs, but they'll have no people to fill them. I truly hope that the industry does get involved and starts pushing for this type of training, or otherwise they're going to be a real shortage when the time comes. Not that many of today's Earth jobs aren't compatible with space jobs. 
But that doesn't mean that the people that are trained in them now are going to want to leave this planet. Most of these jobs are going to be filled by younger people. The encouragement for these type of jobs are going to have to start early in the grade school, the junior high schools, and the high schools. Most of the junior high schools today do not even have a woods class. All these workers can't be paper shufflers. I was lucky enough to have some hands-on training in junior high school and high school. Not only did I enjoy it, I excelled at it. I came very good at it, and it's helped me well through most of my life. I worry about these poor guys that don't know which end of the hammer to hang on to. Yes, and I actually know some of those guys. How about you? And it's only going to get worse if things don't change. Okay, guys, I'm sorry about that. I'll get off the soapbox. There are many college courses offered today that would be beneficial for space-related jobs. Here are just a few of them. If you were trained in one of these positions, all you would probably need is some job-specific training beyond this. These would all be good positions to get involved in today. I think the best part about this is you can get involved in something that you truly enjoy. The way it is today, people are doing jobs they don't really like. They get involved in tedious 9 to 5 jobs that they don't even want to get up for in the morning. I've heard people say that's why they call it work. You're not supposed to enjoy it. But that makes it very difficult to keep going year after year. I think it would be much better to be excited about what you're doing every day. To work toward a goal that's meaningful for everyone. Maybe even this job might be fun on Mars. Maybe not so much without the spacesuit. So who will be the next entrepreneur in space? Go take a look in the mirror. Maybe it's you. Also, I want to tell you about this really great deal for my friends over at Space Intelligence. They have some really nice professionally taken photos that they have very limited quantities left. I encourage you to take a look at them. I don't make any money on them. I'm doing this as a favor for these guys. They use the money they make from these to report on rocket launches and space events and take more wonderful photos. These guys are definitely worth supporting. Also, if you're into space, space events, and current rocket launches, you need to check out their Facebook group. I'll leave a link in the description below. Again, I want to thank these great people, my patrons. They're amazing. Thanks, guys. And you, too, can become a patron for as little as $1 a month. See the link in the description below. Now just tell me, who wouldn't want to get up in the morning and go to work here every day?